Oh, hello, and welcome to our first podcast. It's the first time we're trying this out, so why don't you let me know what you think about it, okay? At cnn.com slash Robin. Just click on Contact Us. I wanted to uh, take you behind the scenes on some stories that you've seen on our air, but maybe you didn't see all of the tape. We went to Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio to visit some of the troops, and we did a story about healing dogs. So here's a little bit of that tape, and I'll tell you what was going on behind the scenes. There were multiple dogs there that day. We only had time to show you two amputees from the war two military service members who were impacted by two therapy dogs. And I kept thinking, these dogs are so well behaved and obviously the way that they are so loving and gentle really helped these amputees through um, some of their physical and emotional pain. Personally, I kept thinking, these dogs are well, well behaved, way better than my own dog. And I don't know how the owners got them to do that. I mean, look at some of this tape. When I was injured, I lost my leg and I was really, really depressed. They ended up hospitalizing me, and uh, that's when I met Blackie, and that was kind of a turning point in my life because from then, I just started improving, improving, and getting better and better. He touched me in a place in my subconscious that I didn't even know that I had. We, we did a story, by the way, at Fort Sam Houston, as a salute to the troops, about a sled hockey team uh, a lot of the team is made up of people who are amputees or maybe they're partially paralyzed as a result of their, their military service. It was revealing to see how much they enjoyed running into each other and kind of getting rough and tumble. Um, let me show you this piece of tape where, oddly enough, you know, some of the amputees and the people who play the sport, even their first timers, were trying to help me get on the sled and, and skate on this thing. It's not easy. They make it look easy, but um, you can see by how many times it fall uh, just how difficult it can be. Although here it's easy to get back up on your sled, get knocked over here on your butt ain't life changing like the knock I took in Iraq. Can you explain to me what does this mean for them? I think this gives them an outlet. They have to put on their gear, they get out there, there's checking, there's the sticks, and I think they can very much relate to this sport, actually. Um, you're in the newsroom now, and we're, we're, they're choosing paint chips to redo the newsroom. We have an interior decorator, really. Not really. So, this is Dallas. What color are we thinking of? Can we show the camera? We're yeah. definitely going pink. pink. We, are we really? Yeah, pinks and browns. Are you really thinking of pink and brown? No, we're going with a nice blue. Ice blue, chocolate brown. Browns. I like that, those are very in style. They're, they're yes. everywhere right now in fashion and yes. home decor. We just want to match whatever the newsroom looks like to whatever you're wearing that day. Gotcha, I you're, like it, I like it. You know what, your style. What would you call the color right now in the newsroom? I'd call it a dirty white. <laughs> Smoker's white, maybe. <laughs> Smoker's white, I like it. Well, anyway, I like the blue and brown. Yeah, I think Thank that's you. what we're going to do. I just wanted to share that with our folks. Good job, Dallas. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Do that to me one more time. Once is never enough with a man like you. I need a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> and if you know, if you're the captain, you wear the hat. That's true. Okay, hit me. Okay, this is from Alyssa in uh, Michigan. Robin's hair is so awesome. How can I get my hair to look like that? I think the captain hat works. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Really, she she likes this hairstyle. Yeah, she wants to know how she can look like Robin. Okay, the, the truth of the matter is that. You know, I have an abundance of gray hair from working with people like Keith. So Miss Claire all does wonder. And uh, so she'll need like a little brown hair color. Oh, well, that, it, it's, that's that simple. That and uh, a team of makeup artists and hair artists. Well, We all have that. <laughs> not, not here in the writing crew. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, this was a good one. Uh, here, here's a joke for the new show. This was, uh, we asked, asked viewers about, you know, writers are on strike, so write some jokes for the, for the uh, what do you call it for the uh, late night writers? What, what's the difference between a drunk and a stoner? A drunk drives through a stop sign and a stoner waits till it turns green. <laughs> That's from uh, John in Oklahoma. You know, this is the thing. Every day we ask the viewers to send us some emails, usually about some type of topic. I'm completely and continually astounded at how good they are. First of all, their writing skills, and they're, they're pretty funny. Yeah. We got some funny, you, you're funny. Yeah, you. 
it's, it's good times. I, I, I love this writer strike. We're still here working. It's good. <laughs> <laughs>